Hello everyone, I am Vishwajoy Chatterjee from University of Engineering and Management, UEM Jaipur. Now off late, there has been a lot of talk around blockchain technology and the world says that if your document is not in blockchain, it is not safe, it is not secure. So here am I to explain blockchain technology to you in a very simple manner for a layman. If you go by the public definition of blockchain that is given in the book, it says blockchain is a public distributed peer-to-peer -peer ledger that keeps the records in a chronological order which are secure and immutable. Now when I heard this definition of blockchain, I really thought, okay, it is a very, very difficult one. And you all will be having the same thing in your mind. But I am here to make the things simple with an example. First and foremost, why is the security needed? Why is it not secure at all? What is this security? From whom would you want, you want to you make your record secure? Say for example, I and you will be signing an agreement. So, when we sign this agreement, we do it in front of a lawyer. We keep a lawyer and maybe four witnesses. So, when we sign this document, this document is signed in front of everybody, the lawyer, the four witnesses. But where is this document or the agreement kept? It is kept centrally somewhere. Somewhere means maybe in the locker, maybe at with the lawyer, maybe at some other safe central place. But later on, if I have something in my mind and I want to tamper the document, what can I do? I can invade that place and simply tamper with the document. A fallacy arises, the document that was signed and the document which is present now are two different documents because it has been tampered with. Herein lies the question of security and blockchain is going to provide you with that security. How? The same example continues. Say for example, I decide now that no, I will not keep this document centrally or this agreement centrally anywhere. The central copy, get rid of it. We keep one copy of this document with all of us. I keep a copy of the document, you keep a copy of the document, the lawyer keeps a copy of the document and all the four witnesses keeps a copy of the document each. Now, if I want to tamper the document, whose document will I tamper? I will tamper my document, my own document, but then how can I tamper your document? How can I tamper the lawyer's document? How can I tamper the document present with the four witnesses? Difficult? So here, this, te this technique if we employ that we are going to keep one copy of each or of the document each with everybody, then it will be difficult for anybody to change it. Because if I have to change it, remember, I will have to then tamper with 50% of the documents. Because if I tamper my document, all if everybody else will be saying, no, this document is different from the one I have got. So there is no point of me tampering only my document. If I really want to tamper, I will have to tamper more than 50% of the documents. Then more than 50% of the people will agree with my document and my document will be accepted. So if I have to do it, maybe I will have to tamper my document and maybe the document of three of the witnesses, then I change four documents, which is more than 50% because I, you, the lawyer and the four took togetherly, there were seven people involved and I tamper four documents. So in that case, my document will be accepted. So can we provide a security even above this that I'm not able to somehow tamper more than 50% documents also. That is even a better security. Yes, it can be done. 
let us do one thing we know that this agreement has got many pages in it we decide upon this that all these pages will be kept in our room in our house in different different locations so maybe this agreement which contain many pages i put the first page in my first almira the second page in a second almira third page maybe in my bag fourth page maybe maybe under the under the bed in anywhere i i mean to say anywhere i keep the pages but the pages are kept in different different places and all of us do the same thing the copies of the agreement we keep it in different different places of our house now if i have to tamper or maybe a third party comes to tamper it then remember i will have to tamper maybe one of the pages now i do one last technique what i do is the content of the page 1 i put it a code the entire content of the page page 1 i make a code out of it i convert the content of the page to a code and along with the content of page 1 i put that code 1 at the bottom of page 1 i repeat simple the page 1 contains the data that data is mapped to a code and i put that code at the bottom of page 1 remember page 2 also contains a data what i do is i map the content of page 1 and page 2 together the content of page 1 plus the content of page 2 together i map it to a code and put it below the content of page 2 similar for page 3 what i do is the content of page 1 the content of page 2 plus the content of page 3 all together i map it to a code and put it at the bottom of page 3 page 4 same thing page 1 content page 2 content page 3 content all together map to a code put at the bottom of page 4 in this way continues up to page n so all these pages contain a code which is made out of the data of all the contents starting from the first page to that page now see what i want to tamper the content of the agreement say i want to tamper the content of page 2 let me do let me tamper the content of page 2 remember as soon as i tamper the content of page 2 the code of page 2 should change so yes i change the code of page 2 no problems i do change the code of page 2 also because this page is there in my hand i change the content code of page 2 also but remember i will have to also change the code of page 3 because the content of page 2 plus the content of page 3 makes the code of page 3 so content of page 2 change means the code of page 3 will change because the content of page 1 plus page 2 plus page 3 together makes the code of page 3 so the code of page 3 changes i need to change it yes i do change i also need to change the code of page 4 because page 1 content page 2 content page 3 content plus page 4 content all together forms the code of page 4 so i do need to change the content of page 4 in this way remember i need to change the code of all the pages till the last page now remember not only this i will have to if i have to tamper i will have to tamper with the content of more than 50% of the people the the agreement present the copy of the agreement present with 50% of the people i will have to do that because the other people will not agree with me agree with my content now i want to do it say i want to do change the content of the first lawyer the first uh, sorry the first witness so i go to his house i invade his house and try to find out the document remember the document the pages are present in separate separate places so if i have to change page 2 i will have to firstly find where is page 
okay i somehow invade his house and find out page 2 i change page 2 i change the code of page 2 but if i change the code of content of page 2 page 3's code will change so i will have to go and search page 3 also where he has kept it some somewhere other not in the same place i find out page 3 somehow change the code of page 3 which is made out of page 1 page 2 page 3 i do it with page 4 and so on but i will have to search for each and every page in his house and remember not only his i will have to do it with 50 percent of the people involved in this that is at least four people in this seven people network that i have formed it is difficult i will have to change the content of all the pages kept separately at different different places in different different houses i will have to invade the, all those houses i will have to invade and find out all those pages placed at different locations difficult now think for a hacker and the same thing in the computer i and you sign the e agreement this copy of the e agreement is not kept centrally it is distributed among all the people in the network computer network now all this are divided into blocks and kept at different places the hackers will have to hack more than 50 percent of the network find all the blocks in the computer present at different locations change the code of all the blocks then only the hacking is possible more than 50 percent needs to be changed this in simple is the blockchain technology which keeps the data secure now go back to the definition we started with blockchain is a public distributed peer-to-peer -peer ledger yes public distributed distributed in the public peer-to-peer -peer, we are all connected in the network peer-to-peer -peer network which keeps the records in a chronological order remember the blocks are kept one after the other and why it chronological because the code is formed accordingly code of page 2 from page 1 page 2 code of page 3 from page 1 page 2 page 3 or block 1 block 2 block 3 whatever you call it so which keeps the records in a chronological order which is secure and immutable yes secure and you cannot change it so that is blockchain in simple if you want to know more such video if you have want to see more such videos know more such topics in a simple manner do visit the uem jaipur official youtube channel the link given here thank you